Good afternoon, everybody. It's Good Friday. Friday afternoon. I'm doing my week in the life of the small van driver. I'm a Saints man. And we're looking back on the last week, which started on Monday the 11th. My fuel prices this week, the cheapest fuel I could get was my BP UK fuels card, which worked out at 170 Exactly, actually. And the others were just too far over. 172 was my other UK fuel cards, and my BP card was way over 177 so fuel price is still high so we start on monday monday we started and had a job booked already which was from my well i picked up on friday in my van all weekend it was fine um didn't use the van and it was to bristol and cardiff which is a really good run and i wanted to be on the ball so I kicked off at quarter six, and I got one two six plus VAT now because I'm VAT registered flat rate scheme. Uh, I got one two six on that job, and I was in Cardiff ready f to work, do a job, pretty much anywhere really. And I finished that job by about ten fifteen, something like that, and got a job straight away from Cardiff to. Stonehouse, which is Gloucestershire, which is right by the M5. Of of Stonehouse is very strange. It's a very small place. It's a big industrial area, industrial area on the side of the M5. Um, I quoted thirty nine uh, for it, and I think it was forty five miles, something like that. I don't even, I didn't want even that. It's about forty five miles. Quoted thirty nine pound for it and got the job. And it was up to Stonehouse. It was just one item nice and easy uh, and I was about five miles from Stonehouse and I got the feed on my mobile phone uh, seeing what was coming up a lot of Bristol stuff coming up and believe it or not a job popped up from Stonehouse to London central London right central you couldn't get no more central just off the fleet just off of Fleet Street in the Strand and it was taking samples to a main head office to be tested in their lab and I come out. I thought, wow. So I looked who was around nearby before I bid on it, and there was no one. There was there was people in Gloucester, a couple of guys in Gloucester, and I thought, who'd want to go to Central London? So I quoted 135 on it. It was only 100. And, it was 110 miles, something like that. It it wasn't much. I quoted 135 because obviously taking your 15 pound congestion because we all play that. I'm Euro six. I ain't got to play you, Les, but I have to play the congestion. Uh, yeah, and got it, and no dead miles, be well, okay, I lie, 0.5 of a mile, so where I dropped at Stonehouse, which was, just said, one box, uh, and that was it nice and easy, half a mile, same industrial estate, I went round, picked up, and that was one box as well, with the samples in, polystyrene, insulated box, and it was in central London, so it was just a trundle, all the way into London and got there and it was easy to find. Both satnavs, my Google and my satnav took me to roughly where it was, uh, right street, and it was a very little side street just off of the Strand. But the head office was there and I, it took me to next door, but it got guards on the gates. You could park as well, single yellow line. Uh, and they took me to it, and a little bit of kerfuffle, they hadn't got a contact details, they'd got the right address, but they want to know who it was actually going to, phone the shipper up, it was sorted within five minutes. Good work. I'm right in the centre of London. I'm thinking, I'm going to get out of here, just pull out of here. I'm on really good money for the day. Really good money for the day. I was over a pound a mile at that rate. And it was just a case of getting to, I thought, I'll get to North London, it's getting on a little bit. And then I got a phone call from... Chris, who I do a fair bit of work for, and said, are you available tomorrow? I've got a load of Cheltenham Exeter. I said, yep, I'm making my way home. Um, and I did make my way home, because I had a good day. I'd done £300 exactly, plus fat. I keep saying that, but that's what it is. Less 15 quid for the uh, congestion, so it's 285 for the day. And that worked out, overall mileage was 68 pence per mile every single mile. And I drove home 70 mile. From the centre of London, 
to home, so that's dead miles, but I don't mind doing it if it gets me home. I ain't going to tramp in the centre of London, that is a fact. Not interested in that. Um, yeah, so I just gentle drive home, and on the way home I picked up um, the stuff from Chris in the back of the van ready for Tuesday morning. I was home by quarter to six, so I did a 12-hour day for 300 quid. That's pretty good. Average twenty five pound per mile for per, um, per hour. Got the words mixed up, but good. Yeah, so really good day. Good start to the week. If you get a good start on a Monday, you can normally carry it on. So I've got me load as well for Tuesday. Cheltenham and Exeter. Um, Exeter can be a funny place. I go to Exeter quite a lot. Exeter can be nothing. But there can be no drivers around, so if you only get one job, you've got a really good chance, unless some one with a long wheelbase cuts, you know, cuts their throat off, really. Um, and I did the Cheltenham, I, again, I left the house quarter to six, did Cheltenham, and I was in Exeter, and I was parked up in Exeter for about, could past up as ten. Nice drive to Cheltenham, it's through Cotswolds, love that drive. And then down to Exeter. Uh, and as I got to Exeter... A job popped up right outside where I was delivering. I've got two boxes. And a job popped up straight away. And it was um, going to uh, Letchworth. Letchworth um, Garden City from Exeter. It was a shipper I know. I know quite well. And there was no drivers around. Now, I could have quoted it. was 200 mile. It was 200 mile. I, could have, I think I could have quoted a lot more than probably what I did. But I, I didn't want to take the piss. I thought I'll put a good quote in that makes me money. And, I'm, you know, I could have probably quoted a pound a mile. And I'd have probably got it because there was only about three vans. And there, one was a Luton and one was a long wheelbase. So I probably could have quoted. But I quoted 200 miles and I quoted 145, which is 72 pence a mile long haul. And it gets me to Letchworth, um, Gun City, which is 35, 40 miles from my house. So it's a mega day because I've got one four eight going down, and if I get one four five coming back, it's two ninety three. So I'm nearly three hundred quid, and I'm getting in my bed again, and I'm getting home. So it's worth you know. Let's get the job. Let's still get a good rate for it. It's all motorway. It's up to the um, M four across up the twenty five up the A one. Uh, well, across the Atfield that way. So happy with that. Got the job. Yeah, thanks for Neil, phoned me up, got the job, and I got to, it was a pickup at a hospital, private hospital. Got there, and they got a fire alarm going off. So everyone was coming out, it was like, alright, it's not a massive hospital, uh, the private hospital, it's near the Royal Devon in Exeter, but it's not, it's separate. And I got to go, and I thought, alright. So, a gentleman who was last night, I parked up where the deliveries and collections are, and he come out and he says, so you just have to hang on a minute, mate, there's... Fire alarm's going off, we've got to check it before we go back in, he said. I said, oh, he says, the whether there's smoke or anything, but we need to check it. I thought, great, hospital on fire. But it wasn't. So, it was. they were back in in five minutes. I phoned the shipper to say that it was on, the hospital may be on fire, we could be here a while. Um, but I said, I'll let keep me informed. Anyway, I give, the gentleman come out who I was dealing with, and he, I said, I'm coming to pick up this to go to here. And he says, I'll have to go and check, but I'm sure that went yesterday. Okay, so he went off. I sat still, and he come back down. He says, "Yep," and he got it on his phone that they picked it up yesterday, five p.m. Exactly the same day, Charles. And I went, "All oh, right." He says, "So it's gone." So unfortunately, there's nothing for you to pick up. So what to do when that happens is to sit still, phone your shipper, which I did. Phone it. He said exactly the same. Can you just hang around a bit? Give me two minutes. I told him exactly what happened, and sure enough, he come back to me and he went, "Well." It seems like it's gone, it's gone. Now, I've had this before at hospital, where they've said there's nothing to go, and then I've driven away, and I've got a certain distance, and all of a sudden they find something. So I thought, hmm. And we arranged a cancellation fee. Neil was fine when I said, this is cancellation fee. I thought, oh, that's a bugger. I really wanted to get out of here. But it's happened. Um, I've got a cancellation fee. I'm looking for another job. You know, I really need summer. And I thought, I'll get summer. And they were still me. I literally got, I thought, I'll go to Exeter Services. It's only three, three and a half, four miles away. And I thought, I'll just go Exeter Services. Park up there, go and use the toilet. And then we'll be on out. You know, we'll look for something else and see what happens. And, you know, get the laptop out. 
So, I just about got to extra services and my phone went. And it was Neil. He went, they found a box. He said, there is a box to go. He says, Dave, can you go back and sort it? I went, yeah, no worries. I says, and it happens. And I went, yeah. It's a bit of a pain because you have you were there three quarters of an hour ago, 25, you know, 40 minutes ago. And so I said, yeah, no worries. I said, I said I've already put the cancellation through because I, I do. I says, that'll be cancelled. I says, we, we, you know, that's not going to happen, that 25 quid. I says, uh, we'll just do this job. Uh, I said, if you just put it, reboot it back on, which he did. Uh, I went to pick it up. And sure enough, they'd got a box. They had actually made the box up, I think. I don't know why, but they, made, but they made a box up, and it was the box I took. And when I put it on the, put it all in the system, give Neil, brilliant shipper, he put 15 quid on top of what I said. So 145 become 160. And it was still 200 mile. It's just that I've been faffing around for probably three quarters of an hour. I didn't ask for anything extra. Um, I would have done it for probably that uh, anyway, but it's nice that there are shippers out there that, you know, and... They look out, if they look after their drivers who are working, I'll do quite a lot of work for them, then I'm going to do, you know, I'll try and look after them. And they're always going to know, they're going to get a good job. I ain't going to mess around, I'm going to get it there. It was meant to be there, they shut at five, I said to Neil, I'll be there between four and a half past if I keep going. I've got to stop for fuel, I said, but I will get it there. And he was happy as that. And I got it there, ten past four. So job done. For that I've got 160, I've got 148 going down, I'm on 308 pound which is a really good sum you know you know i'm beginning to think is it all picking up is it you know is it is, is the work beginning to pick up is there more work there maybe so i've done 285 that was taking 15 quid off the congestion the first day 308 so i've had two really good days and that's what you want to start the week because then you can just chill out um wednesday i decided i was going to stay local um so that was tuesday i did 11 three quarter hours so i'm doing 12 hour days but it's 25 quid an hour, over, just over. So then Wednesday, I decided uh, I hadn't got nothing booked in. Uh, I thought I'm gonna have just a chill out, just a potter around day, hopefully, and see where we get to, because we've got a bike night every Wednesday, and I like to get back if I can. If I can't, I can't, but I do, I've done two long days, so I'm looking at a shorter day. I picked a job up, and for a Saints man, this was hard. For a Saints supporter, this was hard. I picked her from Northampton, two mile down the road, to Leicester. Leicester's a great area. If you ever get to Leicester, uh, there's not a guarantee, but there's a very good chance you're going to get a job. Lots of work around Leicester, Leicester Loughborough, Lutterworth, Nuneaton, all around that area. Um, and I picked a job at Northampton to Leicester. Uh, I quoted £39, and it was 40 miles. And it was to Leicester Tigers Rugby Club. The enemy, the enemy. But who cares, hey? Money's money. Ten boxes of insulating um, pieces, 180 kilos, go into Leicester Tigers Rugby Club Hotel, which they're building next to the, right next to the ground. They're building a big hotel. And I'm going, and I'm opening the back of my van, and I've got a massive Saints flag in the back of my van. Let's see how this goes. Are we going to come away with no wheels? Are we going to get... Tired and feathered by Leicester people. Let's go, let's go. Got there, found it, obviously found it. I know exactly where it is. Pulled in, the building site's a mess. There's lorries and all sorts everywhere. I backed up my little van, didn't open the back door. Went and found a man who knew what these were. He said, yeah, put my... I said, do you need them, mate? I said, no, 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 don't worry. I'll get them out. I said, where do you want them? On that floor there? Yep, yeah, and I'll take them and put them over there. Brilliant. I'm out the back door. I whipped four of these 10 cases off. He saw already signed my paperwork. He didn't even see them. And he just caught a glimpse of the flag. And he went, oh, yeah. I went, uh, yeah. He went, Jesus, you're brave, aren't you? I said, I know. Hurry up and get these off. Let's get, get out of here before I lose my wheels. And he, he was a nice bloke. And a few of the guys on the building site, there's about four or five of them, they see the flag because it covers the, my bulkhead. And, uh, yeah, we had quite a laugh about it, yeah. They took the piss and I had to take take what piss they give me. But it was a good laugh. Bit of banter. Yes, they're top of the league. Yes, they're doing well in Europe. But they're doing it with 10 South Africans and God knows how many other foreigners. 
and they've got another one coming next year who's a bloody good player and all, which is annoying, Pollard. But hey, it was a good laugh. But got 39. Then I'm looking for jobs and I got one straight away. It wasn't in Leicester. It was from Lutterworth. And it was car parts going and they do different routes. There's a there's four or five route, different routes. And you work for the courier that's got the contract and they sub it out if they can't cover it with their own drivers. And I'd got the one Northampton Bedford Luton, which is ideal. And you don't pick up, you get there at 12, 12 15. I was done by 10 o'clock, 10 15. So I've got a little bit of time. Popped into there's a lovely angling shop in Leicester, Angling Direct. On the road out towards the motorway. Um, so I popped in there. I looked round, spent 20 quid on bait for tomorrow. I'm going fishing so, um, Saturday all day. Uh, carp fishing. So I spent a fair bit of money in there. And off we went to Lutterworth. And I thought, well, I'll go and park up. I've got a coffee in my flask, so it stays up. I'll go and park up. So you go into its uh, DHL depot and parked up. And there was already three vans there. You only get about eight to ten vans different routes, and I'd got the route I wanted. And it's good money as well. I've got 72 for 75 miles. But I've got about 20 miles to go to get there. Perhaps not quite 20. It was under 20. It's about 18 miles to get there. So it's, yeah, it's good money. 72 on, you know, 90 odd miles. I'll take that. And chill out. It's never quite ready at the, t- at the time. Sometimes you don't get all three drops, you might get a different one. I was sat there chatting with another driver, got out, beautiful beautiful day, got out having a chit, chit chat. And then um, a guy walks past, a young lad walks past, and I can't remember his name. But he came up, he went, you all right, Dave? And I went, um, he went, he must have looked at my face, and I must have looked like gorm, more gormless than what I normally do. And he went, I subscribe to your channel. He says, brilliant, mate. And I went, all oh, right, I met a subscriber. Young lad. I'm going to get his name wrong, I know I am. Is it Annan? I don't know. He got, I'll tell you what he got, he got a grey Sprinter, Mercedes Sprinter, extra long wheelbase. He'll know who he is, so if you know, just let me know I've got your name right. Lovely lad. He's doing all right for himself. Yep, he's got a regular run. Out, He's out of Wolverhampton, is that right? I don't know, somewhere around there. But he's got a regular run that ends up Nottingham and then he drives home every night. Same run. And he does this car parts. He does a... Um, Three drops wherever he ends up at Burton on Trent, I think. I think said, but lovely bike, met a subscriber. Very, you know, it's great to see. And he's really nice lad. So, Annan, I think it's Annan, but if it ain't, whoever your name is, mate, you know who you are. Big shout out. Thanks for subscribing. Anyone else wants to subscribe or like, click the buttons below. Uh, yeah, be great. So, we had a nice chat. A chat with another driver as well who worked for a big company. He got a Citroen Berlingo like me, got the newer model. And I just realised how good the back of mine is with it, how it's pimped out nicely for, for you know, because his was just basic plywood on the floor, nothing else. Plywood at the front, I think it was an L2, it may have been, I don't know, but nothing special. Uh, I do like the interior of the new Citroen. I do like the steering wheel that's slightly, not round, it's got a flat bottom and the small gear lever. Yeah, I do like that. Think about another van next 12 months, so I'll be looking around. I like the combo as well. The combo Peugeot, Citroen are all pretty much the same. I'd love a Ford, but they're too dear. And Mercedes, too dear and expensive to run. Fiat, I haven't really looked at Fiat. I know Longman, small van, was looking around, but yeah. Yeah, I was impressed with the steering wheel and seating position. Got two seats, whereas mine's got three. Uh, look nice, but yeah. Just appreciate how mine's pimped out. Anyway, digressing. So we did that job. Uh, I did have all three drops. I had five items. Two for one, two for another, and one for Luton. And delivered them. No problem at all. And I'm thinking, well, that's probably it for today, which is 111 um, without VAT. And I just thought, well, if that's it, that's it. But then I picked a nice little job up. Uh, I was going to get back for bike night for about 5.30. Job popped up. This was about quarter to four. And it was from Toddington. I was at I was at Luton, parked up near the motorway, and it was Toddington Services to Sherwood Edge Services, uh, picking an item up from their main office in one services, taking it to the other. Forty three miles, all in, uh, and I quite that was with getting there, and I quoted thirty nine quid. It was about a pound a mile, and I got it. 
Uh, this was at upper square, about four o'clock. I parked the wrong side of Tollington because I was that I was going north and it was on the south side. But I parked the van there, walked over the bridge, took my trolley with me. I didn't know what I was picking up. Took my trolley with me. Thought if it's boxes, I'm, I've got bungees with me. I could strap it and I'll take it back over the bridge. It was one jiffy bag, A4. So I didn't need my trolley. It was all good. Knew I was picking it up and off we went to Sherwell Edge, which is the M40. Uh, near Brackley, between Brackley and Bicester, that sort of direction. And that was great. So that was a little Brucey bonus, got me up to 150 for the day. And I drove to the bike night from there. And I was at the bike night at 6 o'clock. So I started at 9, 9 till 6. Had a break, oh, I must have had three hours, so I didn't do really do anything. I did worked about, worked about 6, but it was 9 all in. And that was 150 quid. And I got 68 pence per mile. So... I've had three good days, 68 pence, 17, 68. So really happy with that. And I was only working Thursday. I worked working Friday, which is today. I was going to Friday off. Been from massage this morning. Um, and my van was booked in at Citroen. Uh, Thursday morning at half eight. It was having this module, the lower fan module or some resistor or whatever. Because my fans, ever since the diesel particle filter has been done, my high speed fan has been blowing on the engine for no reason whatsoever, uh, resurging, I don't know what it was doing, but they got it sussed, uh, it was going to cost me, I've got to have this module fitted, it had knackered, so uh, it went over there for half eight, I told them I wanted it by half ten, ready to work, they said it was just under two hours it would take, so that was Friday mo uh, Thursday morning, yesterday morning, and sure enough, I got it there for half eight, and there were jobs pinging everywhere, there was lots of jobs pinging, I was getting a bit antsy, because the day before bank holiday, here's a good tip, the day before any bank holiday, there is going to be lots of work. Lots of work. Because firms have got to get their stuff out because they're not working for, you know, over the bank holiday. If it don't go out Thursday, it's not going to go out till Tuesday. That's five, and they're pushing to get it all out as much as they can. So, quick tip, put your price up on that day. If you want to make money, put your price up. My van was off the road for the first two hours. I'm like champing at the bit. I sat and waited. I did some laptop work in the uh, showrooms and it come out two hours and I got it. I looked at the jobs. There were jobs. I, by then I thought I don't really want to go massive distance away from home. I don't want to go sort of Manchester or Newcastle or something because it's too late in the day now. But, you know, it's quarter to 11 by the time I got in the van. Job popped up from the job, the the, the Lutterworth job, the uh, car parts was there again. And I thought, should I take that one to Luton? But I was 29 mile away. And I thought with the mileage, it would be all right-ish. But on that day, I thought it might be summer. And there was one in Corby. Corby to Leighton Buzzard to Dartford. And it was 128 miles. And I was eight miles from it, so it was 136. But I quoted 124 so per mile it was about 90 95p because i thought there's no one in corby two drops and i got it and it was but it was pick up at 12. so i've got a bit of a wait because it was i would got a three quarters an hour wait but good money dartford i thought if i get this run right run right cut me saying if i get this job right i should be in dartford delivered and it was just the other side of the bridge in the it was a residential I thought I should be done this by about 2.30, 3 o'clock worst. And because it's the day for bank holiday, I thought anything north, even if it's, you know, 40 miles, 30 miles, I can quote and get it a bit of petrol money and I'll get home. So, good plans going wrong, let me tell you. I picked up, I even got an early pickup. I got a pickup at 20 to 12, two, little, two boxes, nothing massive size like that. Five kilos each, one for one, one for the other. Straight down to Leighton Buzzard, um, back to Northampton on the uh, down to Leighton Buzzard. Dropped that one. It was on a farm. Lots of farms now. We've got business units. Found it straight away. Um, bloke was there waiting for it. Happy as Larry. Lovely. Put the Dartford code in. Uh, the address residential. Super. So I'm going to get there at two fifty five. 2.45, sorry, 2.45. So I put 3 o'clock on the shipper's team, my estimated time of arrival. 
So I'm all good. Shot down the M1, M25, got five miles from Dartford, and I heard on the radio that there'd been an accident, not a breakdown, on the anti-clockwise. So oh, I'm going clockwise. But it was it by the tunnel. It was a lorry broke down. This is what I'd heard. My now estimated time of arrival is going the wrong way, big time. I actually got, there's nothing my side, there's nothing holding it up, but the other side is carnage, because the lorry has blocked the tunnel, one of, one of the tunnels apparently, I didn't see it. I got onto the Dartford Bridge, it's bloody high as well, and stopped. Not quite in the middle, I was just over the edge, just over, stopped. And when I say stopped, it was stop turn engine off, mate. I'd got one point, no, I'd got one point, yeah, 1.2 miles to go. To where, and I was on the bridge. So it was down the bridge, first left, into a place called Stone. Little, little hamlet of Dartford, you know, little regional district. And I was like, 1.2 miles and I'm stuck. And I was in the left lane, right by the where you overlook, because I'm going to go left over the bridge. And I was stuck for an hour. A bloody hour. We got off the bridge. Yeah, to get off the bridge, I was an hour. It, it moved a bit to start with, and then stopped. And then it we just over on the flat bit, and it was turned engines off. Sit there. I informed the shipper, which is what you do, to tell him that I was in this bloody monstrosity of a traffic jam and told him that oh, look, I can't do nothing about it I'm less than a mile away I said, he said not a problem thanks for letting me know can you just it was a lady actually can you just let us know when you get going again we'll inform the, the customer uh, I said yep and I delivered it to say I was going to be there at three I delivered it at half past four and I was on that bridge at 20 to three so I lost nearly two hours and once I've delivered it, I've got to get back over the bloody bridge through the tunnel, which is now they've got the <coughs> they've got the lorry hooked up apparently. <coughs> but traffic is banked back miles. Dartford was gridlocked. You try and get round it. I've got the map out. There is no way around it. I could have gone through Blackwall Tunnel, but I've got to get into London. I've got to go back. There was jobs. There was a job from Bromley to Wembley. It's ideal. That is for me. Bromley to Wembley would have been ideal. I'd have quoted cheaper on that. Yeah, I couldn't even guarantee when I was going to get there, so I couldn't even bid for it because I couldn't get there. <coughs> I'm like nine mile away. It says 20 minutes. It ain't 20 minutes because I ain't moving for 15. So I didn't quote on anything until I was back over <coughs> out of Dartford. And anyhow, I just thought, you know what? I ain't going to get nothing. Um, it's got to be something going home now because I'm just a bit hacked off. And it was. It was nothing. So I drove steadily 60 mile an hour all the way home. And that day, knocked my pence per mile down at 54 pence. Luckily, I got mega money going down. But 54 pence. And I drove 90 mile home empty. And got home at 7 o'clock. With nothing. And the moral of that story is, if you go into London, make sure you get good money. But you're going to get stuck in traffic. But when you get traffic like Dartford, when it goes wrong, you're stuck. There's no way around it. So, I sh perhaps should have took the other job, or tried to get the other job, which was posted two or three times because there was loads of work around. I'd have been in Luton by two, and I'd have got a 30 quid job here, 30 quid there, I'd have still got 120 quid, and I'd have been near home. But, you learn your lessons, we try to. So I did 124 pounds. Obviously, with a bit of VAT on top of that, it's not too bad. But you obviously, I've got to pay 9% this year back. So that's the week. All in all, that's the week. It's been a really good week. I'm not going to lie. Friday put a bit of a taint on it because it, I, I could have you know, done another 70, 80 quid, which would have been a really good week. But you've got to take the rough with the smooth. I had a really good day Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday, and I've got connections like with the Stonehouse job where I was half a mile away in the middle of nowhere and I got a straight job straight to London and then home. So all in all, I did 1,307 miles uh, last this week because it's still Friday and 
my duty time was 41 hours so I was averaging 10, uh, 10 and a quarter hours a day which is okay as far as I know and I had 15 pound congestion on Tuesday on Monday and I had 867 pounds you put that on the top of that that's 172 that's a thousand and thirty odd then thousand and thirty take nine percent off of that that's what I earned so it's been a good day good week uh, my average was still 66 pence because I had such good average on the first three days if I'd have got a good average on my fourth day I'd have been averaging 75p every every mile that's from leaving my door to getting home which is getting better it's improving uh, my pet my rate per day worked at 216 pounds so all in all yeah good four days Friday just put a bit of a bit of a, took the shine off it slightly but I ain't gonna complain and the van's fine it worked great Friday in all that traffic no heating no fan coming on uh, so that's all good and long weekend yes uh, this is what we got fishing tomorrow with a good friend we're going carp fishing all in the morning that'll be actually all day and then Sunday we're going for a picnic with the family two daughters two son-in-laws three grandkids and my wife so two four five six eight, ten of us three cars get to have a picnic play with the kids run right somewhere I've, wife's worked out where we're going somewhere between Ketchum and Gorby but cause carnage not us obviously grandkids it's like just they ain't got off switch just turn them on and they're gone they're going mad so yep we will be that family that no one wants to we won't picnic next to because yeah pretty noisy taking the L Grand all full gear gazebo because it's going to be really warm that's Sunday and Monday I'm out on the bike taking a pan European out I'm very tempted at the moment to buy a I've been offered a Blackbird Honda Blackbird Jim I know you're not doing cover your work for a few weeks because you're doing your other job but yeah been offered a blackbird at a really good rate yeah it's a tempter I shouldn't I shouldn't I shouldn't buy it but watch this space anyway I think it's picking up I've, my prices have gone up since April the first I've put my prices up slightly because petrol's just gone up my Estimated spend on petrol in this year. It's gone a bit dark. Go on. My estimated spend on petrol this year is approximately for <laughs> ten thousand pound. Last year I spent seven thousand four hundred, and uh, and I'm anticipating spending ten grand. And you just can't sustain. You can't work for the the. You've got to work to earn money and make money. And I've had to put my prices up a little bit. Everyone's been great with it. I've, I've chatted with three or four people that I use and explain, and they've been really good. Really, thanks very much to the guys at there because you know I need them on side to do the work. I hopefully do a good job for them, so they're happy with it. And we all got to make a bit of money, and it's all about enjoying it. I enjoy the job. You know, someone's asked me. You know, you do a lot of hours. Uh, but you don't make mountains of money, as in you don't take home mountains of money. But I enjoy the job. If you do something you enjoy, and I'm very fortunate, I've got a mortgage. We haven't got a mortgage. We, you know, we haven't got a mortgage, so we haven't got as many outgoings. It's just me and Julie, my wife, who live here, and the dog. Still got Millie. She's doing well, bless so. her. Uh, so we haven't got the outgoings. If you were in your thirties and your forties or fifties and You've got a steep mortgage, you've got kids at home, you know, school uniforms and spending this and, you know, all the outgoings are a lot more. It would be a tricky way to make a living. But I, for me, it makes me enough money to keep the wolf from the door, to afford nice things. And that's it. That's the week. It's a long weekend. I'm starting back Tuesday. I've already missed out on a job Tuesday morning because my van, Darren's servicing it. I thought the day after bank holiday, it's normally quiet. Darren's going to service it in the morning. It's going to take about two and a half hours, three hours. So it's going to be midday before I get it. I'm staying with it. I'll stay where he works. I'll take it over and I'll wait with it. 
uh, and I'm going to work Tuesday afternoon. So Tuesday's going to be a short day, and I've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. So we're going to try and get three good days in, um, make a bit of money, and then hopefully the van, once it's serviced, it's had everything done, it should be ready to rock for the summer. So all good. All good. It's beautiful weather out there. I'm going to end this video. Thanks for subscribing. 350 I'm on here. Thanks for meeting the sub lad who subscribes to the channel. If I ain't got your name right, just put a comment on it who you were. Uh, nice to meet you. It's, it's yeah, weird, really. Hope you're all making money. Cheers.